like that. What's up my people and welcome to the SN95 Power Channel and don't have good news. So last video I probably posted with this car and I'm, I'm doing my victory lap talking about how awesome things were. Well now we're back to the drawing board because I'm having an issue where the car is just falling flat on his face. It's it's stumbling. On top of that, my headers are glowing red. So even before that, the, the reason why I didn't make it to Ponies in the Smoky, I was chasing down another problem where the car was just um, not starting. You know, I would turn the key and um, the car would crank over anything. Uh, Went back and looked at all my ground, uh, even added another ground. Still doing the same thing and it dawned on me, you know, that's the um, safety neutral switch or the um, MSLP, uh, multiple lever safety position or whatever that thing is called. And I did have the transmission down and I did um, move the shifter lever so I, I went and bought a new one, but the problem actually was when I put the, uh, the shifter cable back, I didn't have it in the correct position. So it, the um, lines wasn't lining up on the safety neutral switch. So got that figured out. The car starts up fantastic. No issues with that. So I've just been trying to test drive it. And, you know, it seems like um, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it will drive perfect, like the video that you've seen. And then two hours later it would start falling flat on his face stumbling the headers would start glowing so i always keep a bunch of spare parts around um so in case something happens you know i'm not running to the parts store so i just started swapping parts um coil rotor um i had already put new plugs in because i had melted one plug Previously, the um, ignition control module I had replaced that because I already had that. And another thing that was going on too is um, my idle um, and Tudor Pro. I think it's 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 P S I P S I B R is what the uh, scaler is called. That thing was all over the place, and I couldn't get it settled. And I would put the car in drive, and it would clunk out right away. So end up swapping in a new IC, solve that, could get the car in gear, at least initially, that I thought that was the issue. And so I took the car out last night, was driving perfect, went to the gas station, put some E85 in there, um, getting ready to pull off, the car clunked out again. Popped the hood, the headers are glowing red again. So went back home, and I'm back at square one. So two things it can be, either it's a timing issue or it's a fuel issue. The easiest thing I can do, because I didn't replace the uh, the Dizzy, so I'm going to replace the Dizzy first today and see if that helps. And the only other thing besides uh, the Dizzy, I guess I could pull the um, pill and see what happens that way. But I'm gonna just replace the Dizzy because I have a spare Dizzy here. Um, my tune could be corrupt because you know I did um, do an update on Tuner Pro. Um, there, there was um, an old tune that I was using that had more fuel in it. But since I fixed the hair leak, I figured that you know I didn't want to. I just wanted to see where it was with the um, the base tune that I had basically. And maybe my tune is corrupt and that's causing some issues. So I have a, um, a tune 
on a, another computer that I have to bring down here and, and load that and see if that'll help. So I checked my time in, even with the pill out, is is dead at 10 degrees before top dead center. Um, put the pill back in on the time light. You can see the computer advancing, you know, the timing a little bit at idle. So I'm gonna change this distributor. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna go ahead and put the GoPro on here someplace and monitor my um my fuel pressure. Because the odd thing is, is on my um, air fuel monitor, my air fuel is dead on. So it's not like it's um, running lean. So we're going to eliminate the timing and see if that um, fixes things. All right, so um, played around with some stuff. New distributor. Took 10% fuel, 5% fuel and out. We'll um we'll see what happens. Oh, that's a nice um white cobra over there. But Do a quick hit over here, pull over, check the header. It's still, still bogging, man. It's still loading up. I think it's just, it's got, I gotta get this tune right, you know? It feels better. I don't know if it's a timing issue or, or what. Dizzy. Let's see if these things are glowing. Didn't clunk out on me. percent taken out let's just see what happens but this is gonna mess up my idle it might kill the car
up, people. Thing I could do now is really just take off the intake see what's going on with that see just um, it just ain't loading up right stuff is going on y'all so give me some suggestions here i'm pretty sure my my tune is off it did not want to go over it did not want to get three volts on the mass airflow meter you heard it really bog out as it climbed up in the, uh, the high rpms should not do that So one thing I could do is um, check this mass airflow meter. I don't think that's it. Actually, it might, it might be my pump. The more and more I, which is odd because my uh, Y band is saying that's okay. But anyway, leave a comment subscribe give me some feedback i appreciate y'all time